In the spring of 1952, British aviation took a great leap forward when the de Havilland Comet 1 became the first jet airliner to carry paying passengers, soaring away from London Heathrow Airport at twice the speed and twice the height of its contemporary competitors. Much fanfare accompanied the arrival of this new era, as the press and public alike hailed the comet as evidence of Britain's return to the forefront of aeronautical engineering after the devastation of World War II. But this pride would soon be dented, not once or twice, but over and over again. The industry truly began to wonder whether something was wrong. The comet was grounded, then almost immediately ungrounded, only for disaster to strike again just days later, sealing the unfortunate fate of the world's first passenger jet, 